Am I the only sober one here? Welcome back into the uh, Mark Cox Show. Uh, that <laughs> that clip was actually from Brian Kilmeade this morning after he played the bite where President Obama basically said, if you're an illegal, you ought to go vote. Uh, Kilmeade comes out and says, Am I the only sober one here? I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> How could he get away with saying that? Come on! Oh, boy. All right, we're talking about turnout, and uh, obviously uh, that has uh, never been uh, more important than in this election. I mean, it really is, and uh, we've got a lot of big races coming up uh, that we need you to get out and vote for. It's not just the top of the ticket, although that one uh, is important as well. Uh, right now, we're joined by Bill Eigel, who is uh, running for the 23rd Senate District out in St. Charles County, and uh, Phil Cristofanelli. Uh, Phil's uh, running in the 105th District for state representative uh, in the uh, great uh, county of St. Charles. How are you guys? Great, Mark. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for being on. Bill, uh, let me start with you. Um, we had a huge turnout this weekend out in St. Charles County at GOP headquarters. I know they're open out there again today off West Terra Lane till like 7 o'clock tonight if people want to go get some yard signs or paraphernalia. But that was a great get-out-the-vote effort. It was a great get out the get vote effort, and I think it speaks to the fact that a lot of people are excited about this election that we're going to have tomorrow, and that folks understand the importance of this election, not just in the federal races for president and for senate, but in the races all the way down the ballot. And, and I'm looking forward to a great night here in St. Charles County. Yeah, I know you and I have talked about that before. Um, as a small business owner, the importance of doing things at the state level that are going to kind of get the economy moving in Missouri – uh, what are your ideas when you get down to Jeff City uh, once you get elected to the state Senate? Well, on one hand, it's something that as Republicans we're talking about a lot, and, and that's less government. And what that translates to, that means a, a tax plan, a tax reform plan that puts more money back in the, the pocketbooks of citizens versus having government spend those dollars. It means labor reform and pursuing policies like right to work that will help Missouri compete with other states that are, quite frankly, doing better than Missouri is right now. It means tort reform, you know, tort reform and uh, creating a, uh, a legal environment that is uh, productive and supportive of businesses. It's going to help Missouri moving forward. There's a lot of different things, and, and quite frankly, I, I think we're the only uh, party that has the right message, and it's resonating with voters. Right. Uh, Phil Cristofanelli, uh, you're running for the 105th District. Uh, tell, tell folks a little bit about yourself. Um, former press secretary. I served in the uh, U.S. House. I remember Congress there for years. I was on the uh, Missouri Republican State Committee for about five years. I've done a lot of campaigns in Missouri and across the country trying to get conservative folks elected. And I saw Missouri showing up in the news in a lot of bad ways in the past year. So I, I uh, hop in and get involved myself as a candidate. Good for you. You you live out in St. Peter's. Is that what is that roughly the boundaries of the 105th out there? Yeah, it's uh, central St. Charles County, so it grabs about the eastern half of the city of St. Peter's, and then uh, unincorporated St. Charles County, Har- Harvester Township. Was there something in particular that 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 pushed you to into this race? I mean, was there a is there an issue you're most passionate about? Well, I remember when I was making my mind up to run, what was going on? Uh, you not just only had the the Ferguson riots, uh, where we had a complete failure of leadership from our uh, state-level executive official, uh, but we also had uh, Mizzou uh, protesting, uh, totally destroying the reputation of the university. Uh, I saw a complete failure of leadership across the board, and so I decided to hop in and get involved at that point. Well, I tell you what, I think St. Charles County is a, is a good place to run if you're a Republican getting in the race for the first time. You guys have got a lot of passion and uh, obviously turn out the vote better than most places uh, in the entire state. Bill Eigel, um, that that's probably somewhere we need to, to start here because uh, you guys are, correct me if I'm wrong, both running for office for the first time, correct? That's correct. Yeah, I thought correct. so. So when I look at, uh, I had Tim Jones on a moment ago and we were talking about um, th- how the races are stacking up, and we've got Donald Trump with a 12-point lead in the latest poll, and everybody below him is – the races are much closer. Now, Now you know, some of them are getting on the verge of being a little bit of a blowout for these statewide races, but, you know, this may not – be one of those races where the top of the ticket has long coattails. I guess you could argue that point. The, the key is getting p- your people motivated and getting them to the polls tomorrow. It is, and I think that folks are looking for 
uh, individuals who have not been a part of the process previously. And I think if you look at the governor's race, there's a huge contrast between a guy like Eric Wrighton, who has never also run for office before. He's an outsider. He's a guy who's got military service. He's run his own business versus uh, really uh, the very definition of someone who is a career politician in Chris Coster. So there is a huge contrast there. And we have seen from the presidential ticket on down a real interest in identifying new voices to speak for us down in Jefferson City in Washington, D.C. Yeah, um, I, I hope that uh, that people are listening to that because I know uh, Eric Greitens spoke out there, and we've you know we've had some um, a, a tough primary here in Missouri for that particular office, and trying to get some of the conservative part of the base out there um, uh, supporting him in this race has been tough. But I, I mean, I hope people realize. To me. That's no different than the the presidential race. Uh, there may be, I mean, there may be some policy dif- differences between Eric Greitens and myself, or Eric, Donald Trump and myself. But overall, the important thing is I know what the other person would do, and there's no way I want that to happen in office. So I'm hoping that Republicans will will come home and wrap their brains around that and and vote for these down ticket races as well. Absolutely. And I've had many good conversations with Eric Greitens, and I am confident that the difference in between electing Eric or electing a Chris Coster is huge. The policies that we'll be able to get past, the new initiatives that really we haven't been able to get beyond the governor's mansion over the past eight years is just night and day different. So having an Eric Greitens go in there as a guy with a new perspective on the proper role of government, I think that's huge. And and it's really it will probably affect us more on a day-to-day basis than even the result of the presidential election. Well, gentlemen, uh, I look forward to talking to you both after you've been elected. Good luck tomorrow. We're talking to uh, Bill Eigel, who's Senate candidate uh, in the 23rd uh, District in St. Charles County, and Phil Cristofanelli, who's out there in District 105, uh, Rondo Fallon, Central St. Charles County. Good luck to both of you. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, sir. All right. Thank you very much, and uh, I appreciate uh, appreciate you both calling in today and Nervous time if you're running for office right now, right? Hey, I I did want to mention this.